Hi, this is Sophie from the Isabel Craft Collection. I'm just doing a series of cards using acetate. Um, those are the two examples of cards that I've done, where I've done a shaker card here, which does shake if you give it, if you give it some welly. <laughs> and also like a floating card, basically, where something looks like it's floating on the front of the cards. And then finally, I'm going to do a card using acetate where you emboss it. Okay, so what you need is you need a card blank, as usual. You need a die to cut uh, an aperture in the front of the card. You need an embossing folder. I've used a Cuttlebug one, which is of uh, musical notes. Obviously, you need a piece of acetate. And then you need um, a focal die, which for me, you can't really see. It was a free die with, one, with um, a magazine, and it says happy birthday. You'll see that in a minute. Okay, so what I did was, as usual, I prepped this, and what I did was I ran the uh, card front through with um, a die. Now, it wasn't the hexagon die, but you get the idea. It was a square die. And then what I did was, when I knew how much space I had, I then used um, this set of stamps, Inka Dinka Do, my favourite set of stamps, um, which was the music one. Now, Sometimes people want to know what um, inks are good to use. Now because these are silicone and they're not photopolymer, or acrylic certainly at the very least, they don't tend to stamp quite as well. So what you need is an oil-based ink pad because it, it takes really well on the um, stamps. It sits better and it creates really, really good results. So here I've used a little drum kit there and then the U-Rock there. But VersaFine is this oil-based ink and it is brilliant when it comes to slightly sort of cheaper end, lower end um, stamps where uh, they're perhaps not quite as um, good quality as maybe photopolymer. Photopolymer is the best quality really. Okay. So I then uh, chose, I, I uh, cut a bit of acetate to fit on the inside of um, the aperture. Okay, so what I did was I ran it through and look how cool that looks. It's absolutely brilliant. I think it's this way up. Okay, so I used the cuttle bug here and I ran it through with two B plates or the A plate at the bottom and two B plates. Okay, so all you have to do is um, get some glue, use my trusty cosmic shimmer. And now let's see, I want it that way and I want it that way up. Okay, so I'm going to run, I think it's, it's probably simpler to put the glue on the inside of the card because then you'll know that it's not going to squidge on the inside of the card. Okay, and then I'm going to put the acetate piece down like so. Okay, like that. Squish it, squish it down. It'll take a while to dry this and acetate being the sort of type of material it is it will take a bit of time to dry. So that gives you an idea. So there you go, you've now got essentially got an aperture card with um, a piece of uh, embossed acetate which looks really cool. And then last but not least I cut out um, a happy birthday. Okay, and again using the Cosmic Shimmer Glue I'm just going to dot a little bit around the outside. Maybe a little bit on the inside. And then I'm going to put it in the centre of the acetate. Now it might be that you find that the acetate doesn't stick down quite as well with the Cosmic Shimmer. What I will do now after this video is to put something heavy down so that it does stick because it's buckling up a little bit and it's coming away. But I know that that will, that will stick, it will just take a little bit of time. So it might be that I rest something heavy, maybe a cuttle bug, who knows, on it. But what you've got there is, again, you've got a very simple card using an aperture, but you've also got embossing on the acetate, and it looks really effective. Okay, so that's the final card in my series of acetate cards. Thanks very much for watching. Um, see you later, and don't forget to come to one of my monthly sales where I sell all sorts of items from Sue Wilson, Tonic Studios, Crafts Companion, all sorts of different places, and of course I'll try and sell some acetate soon as well. Thanks very much for watching, bye!